Today we have a look at the three best mini PCs under $500. Let us start directly with the first one. Here we have the mini PC U570. This comes with an i5-5257U Intel CPU. It isn't really the best Intel CPU because it lags behind 5 generations, but nonetheless it is really a nice CPU for a light task like if you want to play YouTube or Word or something like this, it can handle it. Then it comes with 8GB DDR3 RAM. This is enough to make small multitasking like you make Word on the foreground and hear music in the background. So this is capable of something like this. You can even use it as a small TV stand and to play your TV from this PC. Then it has 256GB SSD. This is enough if you don't need much space. You have 150GB SSD left after you install Windows 10. So it is a little bit, but not the much. Wi-Fi 5 and 2.4 GHz are included and has even Bluetooth 4.2. Then there's a place separate which you can use for an extra SSD or high HDD. This means if you need large storage or a little bit more SSD then you can use this. And you can have two HDMI ports, one LAN ports, two USB 3 ports plus one Type-C ports and a headphone port. So there are enough ports to use. The best point about this product is it only costs $350, which isn't that much for a PC. So you save 150 bucks in comparison to the 500, which this video is about, and has Windows 10 Pro installed. The next mini PC uses all of your budget, but it comes with a much better CPU. So it costs $500, but it has an i5, 8259U from Intel. This means it is three generations newer and it lags only two generations behind between the newest CPUs. This makes it a lot more faster and the graphics are improved as well. So you can use a 4K 60Hz monitor if you want to use this and it has 16 GB RAM which is nice for multitasking which means you can use this for mainly all your things expect for games and video editing. Expect that you can really use it for anything. The good thing is you can even play small games like Fortnite or Minecraft. Then it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5. Bluetooth 5 is nice because it uses less energy, so a nice upgrade there. And you have had HDMI and Thunderbolt 3. Thunderbolt 3 is nice if you want to connect an external GPU, then you can game with it or even edit your videos. And you have form times USB 3.2 with 10 gigabits each. Our last mini PC is the U700 mini PC. This is an i5-5257U. This means it's the first processor of the, the same processor as the first one that I covered before, but it has some other qualities than the first one. Because first of all, it has 8 gigabit RAM, but this is upgradable. This means you can buy another 8 gigabit stick of RAM and then you have 16 gigabit. Those sticks aren't really expensive, so this is a nice option. Then it has 256 gigabit SSD, not really much, but it should be enough. And it has three connectivity ports, which is really nice if you want to connect up to three monitors. It has HDMI, display port, and Type-C, which can go over DisplayPort. Then it has 3 times USB 3, and that costs only 345 US dollar. So this is a really nice value. And if you don't use 2 times HME, but rather would have 1 time HME and DisplayPort and Type-C, then this would be the better variant for you. It has even Windows 10 Pro, so all in all it has a really nice budget mini PC.